Brilliant. Hi, Carlos. Hope you're well. Um, let's again start with, with team news. Um, I wanted to ask about Lewis O'Brien and how close he is to being fit and available again. See, you know, unfortunately, uh, Lewis continued being an injury. Uh, we couldn't work from the beginning with him. He suffered one injury, but I hope he be in the, in the last part of this process now of the injury. And we need to continue facing the games uh, without having the options to work with him in the pitch. Do you know roughly how many weeks it might be before he's available again? I think now he's in the last part. Today he had the one scan to see what is the evolution. And I hope he can help the team very fast and he can come back again with the team. Um, you mentioned last time we spoke that Matty Daly had picked up an injury. How's he now? Will he be available tomorrow? Now Matty Daly start to work this, this week again with the team. And it's one of the options that we have because he was working uh, very well in the, in the last three trains. So he's going to be one option that the team has right now. And is there any other team news that you can give us? Any, anybody else um, picked up an injury this week? I think we are going to have the same group of players that we have in the, in the, in the previous game. Like you say, we are going to add some players like Matty Deli, another one like Emil Green, that they came from the, from the injuries. And now they, they were working with the team during, during this week. So we add these, these players to the team and yes, the typical doubt that all you have before to the game with some players that can be ready or maybe can not. But I hope tomorrow we have the full squad ready to, to face the game. Uh, you made another signing this week at right back, uh, Pippa joining, uh, joining the club. Is it too soon for him to be involved or is he available tomorrow as well? Of course, uh, with Pipa, he's a player that uh, only could work with the team uh, three days before to this game. And it's no, of course, you cannot take the habits or the, or the relation with the teammates in the same level that he's going to have very soon. At the same time, Pipa is a, is a clever player, he's an intelligent player, he's a smart one. That uh, I don't think that is a player that is going to need a lot of time to, to start to, to improve the relation with the players and start to feel comfortable to play with the other teammates. At the same time, he's a player that make the, all the precision with Espanol. He was playing the last international game with Spain. So he's going to be available to, to be in the squad. Why do you think he is a good fit for the style of football that you want to play at Huddersfield? I think uh, Pipa is a good player in general because he's a player with a lot of, that gives a lot of options to the team in attack because he's, a, he's someone brave to have the ball. He's someone that has a lot of skills to, to help the team to progress on the pitch. At the same time, he's a player that can offer to you good options when he arrives to the last part of the pitch, something that is always important in the fullbacks to have the option to arrive and to, and to cross and to help the team to concrete the actions of the attack that we have. And at the same time, he's a fast player and very aggressive player uh, in defence. So I think he's a player that, of course, He's going, to lose, he's going to feel at the beginning what are the, the demandings of the championship because every league is different. And I always say a lot of time that championship is a special tough division. So he needs to adapt very far to this context because he has to be one of the important players that we have. Is there any further news on the transfer window? Uh, any developments with Carl and Grant or any potential new signings joining over the next couple of days? We are having now, right now, the same situation that we have before to play the, the Carabao Cup game. So we continue having the same number of players, the same group of players, and we are having now the same idea with the players that are going to be involved and the players that are not going to be involved. Norwich are the first opponents in the Championship. Were you surprised that they didn't do better in the Premier League last season? I think Norwich is a, is a team that they are working with the same coach now during three years or more than three years, they, they get the, to promote to Premier League at the same time that you say they, they relegate to the, champion, to the Championship again. It's a team that they have signed a lot of new players. Now I think it's close to 10 players, new players they have in the team. They have this stability. And I think both teams, Norwich and us, we arrived to the game after one defeat in the Carabao Cup. So it is going to allow us to the both teams to, to have the desire to, to change this feeling that we have. It's got all the potential to be an exciting game. Does it suit you to have an opponent who are likely to want to come and play football and to come and attack? Will, will that suit Huddersfield Town's style as well? I think uh, when, you were, when you are watching uh, Norwich, it's a team that you can recognise very well how they play because they are having the same style in the last three years. It's a team that you say that they want the ball, they have the ball, they want to have the ball. 
and it's something similar that we that we want to create the the possibility to have the ball to feel comfortable because in football always there is one ball and two teams and and I think you have more chances to go for the game when you are having the ball and when you are not making the opponent feel comfortable with the ball. What are your expectations then for the game tomorrow? What would be the ideal scenario? Obviously, the result would be lovely, but what are you really looking to see from your players against Norwich? I think, like you say, uh, result is one of the, of the key parts that we have. And of course, the, but the focus that the coaches we have are the performance of the team, the, the performance in attack and the performance in defence. We need to be focused just in this. I want to, to see that the team feel, continue feeling comfortable with the ball, something that they saw during the week that they can do, feel more comfortable with the ball, at the same time having the ball trying to create chances. Is because you can think that the more number of clear chances that you have, the more options that you want to have to unbalance the game. And at the same time, without ball, we want to be an aggressive team that allow to the team to, to have the ball more time, more than the opponent. Don't make him, them feel comfortable with the ball, trying to, to make more uncomfortable when they are having this ball and trying to recover fast to have more the ball. And at the same time, trying to reduce all these things, allow us to reduce the chances that they have. We know that they are strong, they are a team with a, a lot of options in the squad. They exactly, but at the end in the games, we play 11 versus 11 in both teams are going to play trying to, to control the, the game with very similar ideas. Finally, for me, it is the first championship game of the new season. Do you get nervous? I think all the, every game is always special. It's, every game is special for the, for, for the coaches. More than nervous, we have responsibilities. And we have to feel the responsibility that we have, the responsibility is special with our fans, because are the people that we are more focused to make us feel proud of the team. So I think we need to be keep focus in the in the performance, keep focus in the things that are going to allow us to have more options to go for the game. And this is the thing that as a coach is I think we need to have in our minds. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Catherine. Stephen, you're next up if that's okay. Hey, Carlos, how's it going? Um so just to confirm, sorry, I, I think I, I picked up what you were saying, but just to confirm, is Carl and Grant not available for selection tomorrow? I think the situation with Carl Grant is exactly the same situation that we have in, in, the, in the last week, uh, because he's a player that uh, we think that have a lot of functions to, to don't continue with us. And I prefer to be working or to be focused now with the player that we are going to have in the, in the league. So the situation with him didn't change in the, in the last week, and we are going to see what is going to be the future with him. I cannot talk about the future because it didn't happen yet. No, that's fair enough. Um, thanks for that. Um, just a, a couple more on injuries as well. Fraser Campbell, where, where's, where's he on his uh, recovery? Fraser Campbell was another player that we had to the squad during this week. He's in the same group of players that Matty Daly or, or Edmond Greens because he has started to work in the last three days with the team. So now it's going to be, of course, we know that the last game that he played was versus, versus West Bromwich in the, in the last period of the, of the game in the last year. But now he was working until now with the, all the officials trying to recover him of one small problem that he had in the Achilles. But now he was working with the team in the last three days. So it's going to be another option that we are going to add to the squad. That's, uh, that's good news. Um, thanks for that. Um, are, are you happy with the attacking options you have available, uh, both sort of centrally and on the wings, um, with Steve Mounier gone now? Is that a position that you're going to look to add to in the transfer market, potentially? Like I say, we need to be working on with the, the, the market, with all the possibilities that can make us stronger in the, in the league and can, and can help the team to grow as a number of players and as a quality options to have in the squad. Right now, my, my only concern is to be like I am really focused with the play that we have right now, trying, like you say, to, to explode the player that we have. I think in the club we have players with potential and we need to be working with them, trying to allow to create something that allow them to show what they are able to do. Cool, thank you. Um, on transfers as well, uh, we, when we spoke a couple of weeks ago, Flo Haddish and I was, uh, was potentially looking at a move away. Is, is his move still um, ticking over? Is that still likely to happen? Which player? Sorry. I didn't Haddish know. and I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think the situation with him didn't change 
uh, from the beginning to until now. I didn't meet with him because he's a player that is going to is not going to stay with us this year. Okay, thank you. Um, Kieran Phillips has signed a new contract with the club. Um, is he another option for you uh, in attack, uh, potentially in the championship? I think Phillips is one is young player, still is young player. Uh, I couldn't work with him until yesterday. He was working yesterday with us because he had an injury and he couldn't make a normal, a normal period of trainings. He's one player that's going to be in the B team that we have created because uh, he wants to allow to have a players after they beat the under 19 uh, step to be closer to the first team and he's going to be one of the players that are going to be working in this B team that we have a lot of expectation and belief in these young players that we have in the club. Great. And and finally, from me, that there's been a lot of pundits making their predictions for, for next season. And a few people have, have uh, suggested Huddersfield Town will get relegated this season. Are you, would you agree with that assessment or are you setting your heights, sights much higher than that? I never want to be focused in the predictions that the people is doing, even when the predictions are positive or when the predictions are negative. Our only focus are going to be in to continue developing the team to continue helping the players to show what they are able to do and to continue be focusing on our job that's all great thanks carlos good luck tomorrow thank you very much thanks Cheers. steve leon you're up next mate hello carlos afternoon okay. i was just wondering your, your squad is in transition and you are trying a new playing style um, everyone has to be patient supporters it's, it's going to take some time isn't it Always when you arrive with any coach, arrive to one club, it's going to need a, a bit of time to, to develop any idea because all the coaches have an idea. It's impossible to be coach if you don't have any idea about how you feel football. Everyone yeah. wants to feel football. But at the same time, we, we want to just to be focusing with things. I want to allow us to have more options to, to win the game. This is our style. Our style is to be focused in how we can increase the offensive performance and how we can increase the defensive, the defensive performance too. So... Every coach is going to have different ideas. Some coaches are going to defend the set pieces more sonal, another one decide to be more man to man. Of course, every decision that we make, we are analyzing why we are doing the things because what yeah. we want is increase the performance in attack and the performance in defense. And of course, everyone are going to need some time. And at the same time, the, there is very important the natural relation with the players, relation with the players that can appear in the, with the team. So, of course, it's always this need a little bit of time and we will try to reduce the time that yeah. we need to try to show the identity of this, of this team. Everyone is saying it is a hard game for, for Huddersfield and it is, but sometimes it's difficult for teams relegated from the Premiership at the start of the season. So it could be a hard game for Norwich as well. Yes, we want to make that be a very hard game for, for them. This is our desire. This is what we want to try to do tomorrow, make, make an uncomfortable game yeah. for them. This is our target and this is what we are focused and we will focus during all the week, trying to explode our strengths and at the same time trying to reduce the option that, that it didn't have. I think always when you are relegated, you cannot be thinking that championship is an easy game, that is going to, is an easy league that is going to allow you to, to come back very fast because yeah. everyone has feel experience that some of the of the clubs moved to League One after they were relegated. So this yeah. is one option that why this happened is because it shows about the level of the championship. It's a clear, very demanding league. Yeah. It's a little bit different of Premier League in terms for me of speed, in terms of you want to play with different demands in the league, but yeah. at the same time it's a it's a higher, higher, higher type competition, very demanding, and that's why you need to face every game knowing exactly what the league is. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Thanks, Leon. Daniel KLTV, you got anything to add? No, I'm all good over here. Good, excellent. That's it then. Thanks for everyone. Thank you.